Emily. Hey, Emily, this is Dave Portnoy calling. Uh, I'm recording you right now. It seems like you're sending and you're reaching out to our advertisers and you're basically sending an email that says to the effect, Dave's a misogenic racist. Do you want to defend yourselves advertising at this event, right? No, I'm not. I'm not I haven't said anything like that. I'm well, I, I, can, I can read if you want. If you want, I can read what you actually sent. I have it. We're at One Bite Pizza Fest. First ever of its kind, best pizza in the world. There's been a lot of controversy. I've stomped it out, like just putting out little fucking twigs, little fires, just stomping on Kenji Alt Lopez's fucking fat fucking loser face. The Washington Post, Emily Heal, fucking ruined her. Um, and now we're just having fun eating pizza. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody gave it to me in the crowd. Oh, really? <laughs> like nice. people, like wearing. Nice. Yeah, people are wearing it in I the crowd it. and stuff. So, yeah. No, I, that guy, I'm gonna not care for. Like, he, he. I never knew who that guy was. It's just he came out of clouds, like attacking. It. You, you guys got the. Up until last night, I tried to read every possible way. Nice and email. You still have time to do the right thing. Crazy. Like, 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 it's crazy. The Washington Post, one of the authors, is like his best friend. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Like, yeah. he walked it, he has all these pictures with them together. It's like, oh, maybe that's where that came from. I'm sorry you guys didn't know what it is. It's a horrible, horrible thing. So it's like, I get so annoyed because I appreciate if you're up, everybody wants to see you down because yeah, they can't be there. You know yeah. what? You earned where you are. I appreciate that. You didn't that. come overnight. No, no. It's been doing it you know how many years. drinks did you have to sit in that bar and have before you thought of it? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. It's 20 years. You know I, how many arm curls that is? Uh, it's a lot. Listen, you know? I thank you for what you've done and what you do for everybody. I appreciate okay? it. Okay? Thank you for doing okay? this. It means a lot. Oh, my pleasure. You can't I, I, no problem. Okay? I appreciate it. We'll be, we're there. I appreciate it. Good okay, seeing you. you. Yeah. Really? I just want to make sure the show was. It's all tight, time. but what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> really, really I'm a huge fan. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. So, how long have you been at Puppets? So, my dad is the director of operations. I'm 15. I'm all right, so what, kid. what are we going to do about that Florida location? <laughs> my dad got it. So, he went on a rampage. What he did is um, he went down there, he spent a couple weeks there. I'm with we them. changed the plot. I just asked, I went through the water. No, I know what you guys did. No, we took the punch. Yeah, we took to. the punch. Listen, I love you guys. Hey, yeah. I had it, it was bad. Right. And you guys are great. So we what I proved up there is as good as I had in New Haven. Yeah, right. And, and the one I had in Florida. Right. It, 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 we yeah. took the punch, we made the corrections, All right. we fixed the boxes. So it's good now. We checked the water filter, we made a personnel change. We are ready to go in right. Florida. I gotta go. I gotta we go back. We opened up Delray too. Right, Let's back. do it. I gotta go back. Come I'll on, go back. this is New Haven. I, mean, I know. Here yeah. We are. I know. Hey, that's yeah. what. Remember. Here, we're <laughs> 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 we're we're right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. However you want it. This is perfect. Exactly. This is what I need. Love being here. This is what I need to hear. I don't know what happened. This is I love it. I love it. Yeah. We're only as good as our last pizza. This guy was unbelievable. The Pepe's guy was unbelievable. 
Of course he's an Elio friend. Elio texted me, he's like, my buddy works there. He said he went and lived after that review in Florida for a month. Our oh machine God. sucks. <laughs> like, that is so good. What a shirt. Sorry. No, 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 no. Great. Thank you. Let's make Dave make a pizza. Unbelievable. Come on, you gonna make a pie? Yeah, please. Come on. <laughs> one more, one more. You want me to make it? Sorry, guys. Sorry. I gotta clean my hands probably, but whatever. It's your pizza. I ain't eating. All right, fine. Stretch it. What dirt? Over there. Stretch it. That's what you told me to do. Stretch it both ways, like that. I kind of remember last time I did it. Over, under, over, under. Yeah, over, under, over, under, over, under. Over, under. Dave, you're making a mess. I don't have one of your. It's a thing. pizza festival. I don't have one of your shirts. Don't leave the paddle in the oven. That was a mistake last time. I'm never gonna hear the end. Oh god. What? You have a right hand like this. Oh, you're lefty, right? I'm a lefty. That explains it, right? Right in the middle. Right in the middle. I thought I was doing circles. Now you're doing circles. Good. All right, all right. This guy spent me. Made 9,000 pizzas. He gets in my ass about knowing how to make pizza. Listen, you know I eat the pizza. You don't know how to make pizza. I've never made a pizza. He gets in my ass. Everybody's like, you don't know how to make the circle. No, I don't know how to make pizza. I've never made pizza. How's that? This cheese is so good. Welcome to Dave Portnoy's One Bite Pizza Fest. Thank you for showing up today. Uh, we are going to blind taste test six of Dave's all-time favorites. We're going to bring them out right now. Make some noise for El Prez, Dave Portnoy. Topsies. Ooh, well, it's Sally's. I'm supposed to know what I'm choosing from. I don't even know if Patsy's was in the contest. I tried to coordinate with you all week. You're possible to get hold of. Sorry, right. I was under attack from fucking the Washington Post. I couldn't return your call, Dante. <laughs> that could be that could be Monty's Colony Grill. It's Colony Grill? Colony Grill. Great, great job. <laughs> All right, that's impressive. Nice work. Do you know how hard that is? What I Very just hard. did? What is that sauce? Di Lorenzo. Close. Fuck. The Fazio's. <laughs> Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very, very well done. That bite, if you saw my head on the last crunch, he has that fluffy, bubbly crunch on the crust. That was, I'm not, the boos are way louder than the cheers when I get it right. Number five. Luigi's. No, sir. I'll give you, I'll give you one more. Team Lorenzo's. No. Well, I don't know John, what. John's, Bleaker. All right, last one. Angelini's? No. You just, you guessed this place three times. Do Lorenzo's. Yes. Dave's Pizza Reviews, we love the most, but you know who we hate the fucking Washington Post? Barstool fans, you'll all agree. Barstool fans, you'll all agree, you can one bite these nuts, Tim and Emily! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Hey, give me some! Give me some! I love it. That was fire! That was gas! So good! So good! Good? Are they taking care of you? Yeah. Really good, really good. It's crazy, I can't believe they got all these ovens and everything out here. Awesome. The weather's awesome. broke, but what are you gonna do? I have eight slices so far. I got, yeah. like, I got like 25 more to go. <laughs> and one's better than the next. Every, every slice is so good. Where's Frank? He's 
running around. Is he, is he, he, he like showtime now? Is he no, no, he, he was here and then he was, he was practicing. One of those pieces. We gotta 100%. And those are the meat? Yes. So we got a little combination there of both places on here. Got the pizza festival. I love it. That? I love it. Just made. <laughs> I'm glad you guys made it out. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> what is this Morelli slice? This is the new one. Here we go. This is the new one. Yep. The new slice. This yeah. looks like a New Haven style. Yes. Almost. Are you the guy making I'm it? I'm making it. I've heard a lot oh. about you. Yeah, yeah. Here so Morelli's go. got a new, a new type of pizza. Now, last time we did the review. Frankie Sr. the, the, the cook it, the, the maker Laredo, out. He kicked Laredo out. Laredo out, tried to make his own pizza. Frank is still mad. This is <laughs> way more looking like what I do. Excellent. I, I don't want to. This would be my favorite style of your fun. Well, it's been eight years we're following you now, so. What's going on over here? <laughs> eight years. Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. No, it's on an official review. Woo, my heart's racing. <laughs> this is this is way more my style. How good is that? It's really, really. It looks like New Haven. I'm I know. Does anyone even know who you are here? <laughs> Meaning, <laughs> like, do they know you? You see the camera, or is it now all awesome? Well, Al Santillo's like, last time I saw you, you were a child. I'm like, oh, was that two years <laughs> How ago? It's crazy. <laughs> Al, Al was threatening to bail like 100 years. <laughs> like, that's not right. That's not there. He grabbed my cheek. He's like, what are you doing here? I'm like, he looked, he's like, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm doing the thing. I don't know. Yeah, this when, is great. After my dad had the yips. We went back to the drawing board. We made sure that you would never ever have a pizza you didn't like fully pull. <laughs> right? It's him now. Yep. It's great. You had to go, we had to pass but on to those generations. Like seven this years in the making. That, yeah, that is almost like you took what I was saying for yeah. ten years and tried to create it. Yeah. I know, the chart, the undercarriage is great. I'm not doing a real review of it now, but everything is like that I've had here is legitimately eights and nines. That's it. That would be even if I didn't know you guys, that would be an eight or nine pizza, no doubt. Yay! No doubt. Is that good? You guys are crying. Look, you're cheering up. <laughs> 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 I see you. How you doing? Everything's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Pitch this. I think the perfect thing. You gotta get John to take a stand on him, and we can do it. Yeah. yeah. I give you guys everything. It's funny because if you didn't DM us, I thought it was a joke. I'm yeah. Like, right. Showed the email, Mike. I, I kept saying yeah. no. It's like no, this is no. Then we said the DM. I'm like, no, it's just for real. Yeah. It's for real. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't think it was possible. Like we're not gonna get all these places. Right, right, right. I gave him a list. Yeah, yeah, I can't. No, I appreciate it. I always see you guys on the papers. Yeah, no, we appreciate that. Right, right. Right. You got anything yeah. hot from the try? Of course. Yeah. How close is it to the to being in the store? Exactly. Real. You're going to be the judge. Yeah, I am. Exact. You hear that? Exact. John's a bleaker. Exact. Yeah. All right, here we go. They said he's exact. John's a bleaker. Well known as one of my absolute favorites in the world. It's kind of like the 9 4 put on the map. And I did say, when I started, it's like, if you can't get John's bleaker, I don't know that I can do this. It is coming down the range, so I go quick. Great undercarriage. It says exact, it's close. It's very close. The crisp may be missing by a tiny inch, but overall, you can say you've had it here. It's coming down a little bit right now. Again, high eight, low nine, easy. John's a bleaker. Just stop fucking raining, that's it. Of course. Pizza management is very important for me today. How's the oven? Everything Everything great. is great. Everything is perfect. You guys are doing a great job. Okay. This is great. This is almost... Take two bites. <laughs> no, one bite. Two. I can't be yelled at. That's the move, though. He goes one front, one crust. <laughs> one. I didn't think we'd be able to create this great a pizza here. No, you guys did a great job. You know, the oven is perfect. They're good. They've been really good. Yeah, and the crew's been great. They've been helpful. Actually, because of him, I called the guys in Randall's Island, and I said, I want to put a patches in Randall's Island with this oven. We're putting it on really? Yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. So, and if we, everything here is a high, low, nine. It's all unbelievable pizza. And if we do that, I expect you the day we open. I'll be all right. there. Let me know. Got it. Got it. If you know pizza, we have the best of the best. I never thought we'd ever get all of them here, especially in the rain, making pizza. Uh, so yeah, it is a, a little bit of a humbling event, but everyone's having a great time. Yeah, and do you have a favorite out there? Can you even say that? Are you trying to get me killed? Uh, <laughs> those are all my favorites because I handpicked all of them. I love Sally's, I love Lucali, John's a bleaker. And again, these places like Lucali, the line for Lucali right now is around the corner. You can't get in Lucali. So here's a chance to get the real slice. Mark's cooking it up. Um, yeah, people are passionate about pizza and they know that's the best of the best. 
And did you ever think that you'd be this world-renowned pizza expert? Did I ever think, like, this Jewish dude from Boston would become, like, <laughs> the pizza critic of, like, the world? No. Um, but if you eat as much as pizza as I do, you can have a say, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so elite, you are not, but there are the right. elitists that tried to come after you and they did that ridiculous hit piece about mm -hmm. you in the Washington Post. Um, now that that's a little bit in the rearview mirror and you see still how much of the success today is and how none of the sponsors even considered pulling out despite all of the negativity that was presented beforehand to them. Uh, what does that mean to you? It means a lot. Um, it's one of those weird things because like what happens online and social media, it's like an echo chamber and I know it's not the real world because I've dealt with that type of stuff now for a long time. And then you go on the street and everyone loves you and happy and say hello. And especially here, people just wanna have fun, eat pizza, and it actually weirdly makes people more motivated to support the event, support the pizza places, and even the pizza places. It's like, I know them, I'm friends with them. I, I, I don't go in once and stop talking to them. Um, so it just brings the community together. They don't mean to, but it makes, kind of the Barstool fandom and all that stuff, the things they hate makes us stronger. Has there been an Emily Heel sighting today at the <laughs> Pizza Fest? There, none of these, she's a coward and she would never, ever, ever show her face. She won't even talk to me on the phone, never mind show her here. So no, we'll never get that. If any of my haters want to sit down, that is an open invite. Uh, you know, it's such a hard decision, it's a life decision. Yeah, it so, 237, this member yeah, one yeah, of Sally. Yeah, so what is this entitled? What is this? Entitled you to come whenever you want. You eat free for life at any size, yeah. anywhere. You're our guest. Unbelievable. Our and what about if I'm walking down, what is it, Wooster Street, right? New Haven, I can cut a four hour line and get right That's it. Exactly. You got it. <laughs> this thing is gold. All right, I love it. See that, too? Member number one. You can't put a price tag on it. Literally that. I love it. What's 237? Is that the. That's New Haven? Yeah, New Haven. And it's only going to be. It's never going to be more than 237 ever printed. Gold. That's better than your real block party. That's gold. Never your real block Thank you guys. Only 237 ever. That's their address in Worcester Street, New Haven. Member one. They're like, we're not starting it until we give it to you for the first guy. Free Sally's cut the line for life. Let's right now. What number would I have to throw? I mean, once they leave. Nothing. Never. Never. Get rid of your real black card. That's way better. What a card. What a, he's so jealous. I am. I'm not going to lie. That's that's big time. That's sweet. And they said only 237 of them ever. That, who who the hell are saying? the other 200 people that are getting those? One ever got. <laughs> She's two, they said. I couldn't make an intro? You know who I need? <laughs> I'll come up for Erica. You know who I need an intro to is the Lucali guys. Andrew, uh, uh, Mark, Mark. Dude, I can never, ever get in that yeah, place. Mark, let's get it. He's out there cooking right now. Yeah, his piece is great. That's the one I got. I, I, I can tell by the bite on the stage. Yeah. So Nate was telling us all how he has to make sure Dave sees that he showed up here and he showed face. He's playing Survivor so hard. He wouldn't leave me. I had to tell him, if you don't stop talking about Survivor, then I'm not going to work with you at all. What you, would you think of Pizza Fest over the weekend? I actually had the best time ever. Dave really knows how to throw a party. It was, I thought it was going to be like Fire Fest when I got there. It was a, such a well-oiled machine. I didn't have to wait more than five minutes for a slice of pizza. The booths, everything was top-notch. Um, whoever put that show on did a great job. I think it was Medium Rare, I think, did it. An amazing job. And the slice, my favorite slice of pizza I had was from DiFara, D-I-F-A-R-A, -A, and then Sally's, and then King Umberto's. Those are my top three. And I, and I caught a cold from being out in, that, in, the, in, the, in the cold rain. But um, I hope it's every single year. I'm so proud of Uncle Dave. You have that? Ten minutes from my house, I go all the time. It was when I told you I was upstairs. Oh yeah. Top three. Okay. Sally's, I'm happy about that. That. And and birds. What was yours? Uh, uh, Defares. What was your top three? I did you possibly try to place Federici's? It was like on the left side behind home. Yeah, that place was amazing. That was my number one. I think Federici, Lucali, and then I said oh, Luigi's. So I think was the third yeah. one I said. I was excited that I had that T-shirt. Now I can go on the back of it and just check them up, cross them up after I try them. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's the roster. So now I have them all written down, I know which ones to try. I'm so bizarre. Did you have to explain to your kids what the F word was yesterday? Oh, God. <laughs>
<laughs> just as an impartial. <laughs> okay. Did you have to? Something. Did you have to? Was I did. It, was it hard for you to do? Absolutely. Listen, kids have to learn hard lessons, okay? If you let them, if you let them watch TV past uh, four o'clock, all bets are off. All right. We'll see you at four o'clock. Okay. You have exhibits. I have many exhibits. I have many exhibits. I'm really excited to hear it. I can't wait. It sounds like you did a lot of research. Well, there's she should college drop, high school drop. Oh, so, oh we're, we're shaming education now. She should, yeah. Whoa. yeah. She can't be a person because she didn't graduate high school. Wow. Fucking pigs. She didn't go to college? Wow, a lot of your coworkers I mean, didn't go to college. I mean, he's just a pig, huh? Whoa, whoa, this is a healthy yeah. debate. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. You don't think I didn't write that up in a group chat last night? I gotta know Travis is getting in there right now. <laughs> Obviously, we're talking about Swift and Kelsey. It's the day after the Swift and Kelsey thing, and we were talking about. Um, you said that you think Taylor Swift would like me. As a friend, if they hung out. What do you mean, as a friend? <laughs> you, think, you think Taylor Swift would friend zone me? Yes. <laughs> what if I put the moves on her? <laughs> What's the Glenny moves? Really, no moves. Just being yourself. Hopefully, oh, making him laugh. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just be yourself, gang. Maybe getting a good make out. It's yeah. pretty cr Yeah, it's pretty crazy. If you do make women laugh, they will. Warm up to you. It's it's a crazy concept. Taylor did in Sunday conversation. She would eat you up. Okay. Ooh. So either way, so the next thing I said, I know Maria's friends with the with the Stallone sisters. I said, could you send me up with Sistine Stallone? I think we would be a great celebrity couple. She said no. So now I'm just saying I'm in the market for. I think I'd be a good famous girl boyfriend guy. And like me why? and then we would Carbone. It wouldn't be funny to see me like. It's like it's like when turtle dates. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it would be. I think I'd be a great turtle to their Jamie Lynn. Yeah. <laughs> so, like I'm trying to get dinner with Emily Ratajkowski right now. She didn't respond. I'm just I just want to be famous. Guy. I just want to be famous girl boy. Zendaya. I said that I think my first one would be Kate Beckinsale. I think is funny. And would also work. You would be perfect. <laughs> I, she's like LA though. I don't think we're gonna come across Beckinsale. Maybe I could get Ed Sheeran to get me in contact with Beckinsale. Best possibility. Fucking your life, dude. Beckinsale's yeah. English, right? <laughs> yeah. She is. Yeah. Or Ed Sheeran. Get me in contact with Beckinsale. Fucking Kelsey. insane. Oh, I'll get Ed Sheeran. He'll I mean, I connect. think Ed Sheeran, it's the you best. probably make a connection somehow from Ed Sheeran to literally anybody. Any, anyone in the world. Ed loves you so much, he might be like, hey, check out my live balls. <laughs> I think it was, I don't want it to be like Taylor Swift, it would be better to go somewhere else. I don't know. We, we, would, we would entertain a day with Taylor. In the tap Are you points. a jealous guy at all? Jealous? Yeah. What do you mean? You you famous, you get famous girlfriend. Yeah. Everybody wants your girl. Oh I don't no, 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 no! I'd be so fine with that. I'd be so fine with that. Yeah, that jealous. I'd be so. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. So fine with that. That's impressive. You might be that's, like, yeah, that's yeah, super or... crucial. I think oh. you're literally perfect for Taylor Swift. I, yeah. <laughs> Dude, me and Taylor would get along great. Right now she's with Travis, though. I'm not gonna interrupt on that. Mm -hmm. But I just think I'd be a good famous guy boyfriend. I, I would love to just. I want to be in the paparazzi picture one time in the background. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask Eric, I'm gonna ask our CEO Erica to write a reference letter for my for condo board approval. What it so it just says like I work here, I'm not racist, good employee. I don't always show up to work though. Huh? What is he doing? Joey needs me to write him a letter of recommendation for his new apartment. <laughs> so I'm gonna write him a letter of recommendation on tomorrow's show. Now. He said he said he was gonna ask Erica. He wanted to ask Dave. Like, he wanted to have Dave sit down and write him a letter. <laughs> so I don't know if that's going to work. Okay. So unfortunately, I'm, I'm, as the third most powerful person in the company, I'm going to have to kind of step up and do my job. <laughs> so I need Erica to write me a letter. That's good do you think I should fake, do you think I should forge it? Forge it? <laughs> it's your name. Uh -huh. You don't know who you Hi. I'm Joey. What's your name again? <laughs> I'm only kidding. I knew your name. I was seeing if Pat knew your name. He didn't know your name. I knew your name, Becky girl. <laughs> My drag name is be Becky Lake. Okay, and now I need something from you. I need a favor, sister to sister. Feel free to say no. I need Erica to write me a, re a letter of recommendation to my condo board. Do you think she can do that this week? I'll help you. You can also, where does she keep all the numbers and things? The numbers? <laughs> Add a couple zeros to something. <laughs> Ooh, I don't have access to that information. Oh. I need him to get approved because this has been such a fucking nightmare having him get this apartment. But part of me, it, it's literally, there's a 20 year window where Nana was off the grid. She was using, she was drinking, she was drugging, and she was turning tricks as a woman. We didn't get board approval, but we got Vicky approval. <laughs> 
<laughs> now she is gonna, she approved the request to talk to Erica for me. So I don't know if she'll ever get there, or if Erica will just tell me to give me the bird. If she doesn't do it, Erica doesn't do it, who else can I ask to do my round of recommendation? But you don't have any credentials. Credentials? She's the CEO. It's a you, she -er. You're a blogger. You're a blogger. <laughs> I wish I, I knew how to type on that thing. Why don't we do, well we're gonna write it on the show. What about someone Jewish though? Bingo. Will you, I need to do all Jewish <laughs> building and I have to pretend to be Jewish. Okay, you want tips? No, I need you to vouch for me. Okay. Can I see your pictures from your breasts? Um, no, those, those are, we don't have close ups. No, you want. Well, a, a more modern picture will do. Yeah. <laughs> the aftermath will do. <laughs> I mean, if there's a 15 I like to see how it's healing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was a stitch, if I remember. <laughs> Now, now, it, believe it or not, there was a snag on one of the stitches, <laughs> if I recall. You didn't post the, the tipping conversation. What tipping conversation? See? He has no idea what we're even talking about. We had like an hour long tipping conversation, then Shannon Sharp had the same conversation, got 4 million views. That's on me. <laughs> I just remember that now. It was two weeks ago. I just remember that. I mean, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. I sent it to. Uh... <laughs> tell the truth. Okay, I'll tell the truth. I sent it to Cody. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. What video? Get the receipt. It's in the Dropbox I sent you weeks ago. I mean, you sent me a Dropbox with 80 videos in it. You can but, be like, hey, by the way, I have a video of Pat that's really good. I would have vlogged that. I mean, you know what? Literally. Now we know. The whole sweater comes out. What is it in there? It's. Yeah. The agency's falling apart. He just threw Cody right under the bus. I mean, yeah. I take full responsibility. No, you didn't. I'll take responsibility now. I'll take responsibility. I still don't know what he was fucking talking about. I just scrolled through 18 videos and it's a game of the I'll take full responsibility that it's Cody's fault. It just says tipping. You know what? No context I, I with got, 18 other videos. I got you better. That's on the flag. What's the best one? Okay. It starts. It starts with me, and it trickles down. So I'll, I'll, I'll take one. Thomas got you. I will say, and I'm gonna defend myself no, there. It's a it's a Dropbox link that just says tip. It's, yeah, a, so it's a six and a half minute defense, long video. There was a lot of stuff happening that day. I don't even you know, know, you know what happens with all great empires? They eventually fall. Yeah. I mean, I posted. Okay, you know what, that's, that's... I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what the argument was. All I heard was, I'm not gonna throw so so anyone under the bus. <laughs> it was Cody. Career, we gotta talk about this. <laughs> he, just, he just laid me down in front of Pat Bev's bus and they drove over it and then ran it back and drove over it and ran it back. I just, dab, I just dabbed up Pat. I ordered a bottle of wine. But I, I, shouldn't, I went to throatgoat.com to order it. So that's probably why this is